Guys, guys, it is January 26th. You know what that means. Paldean Face just released. And I ordered the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. And they managed to deliver it on release day, which is awesome. So we get to record this video right on the release day. I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. I'm so excited. We just got to start opening this up right now. Let's do it. Sorry if that intro was a little too fast paced, uh, but I'm just very excited to open this box. As you can see, we got the exclusive one, which is super cool. Um, I've actually never opened a Pokemon Center exclusive box before, so this is gonna be super cool. Um, it comes with one, there's one difference between the exclusive and the normal is the old promo card has a nice stamp and you get two promos and usually this one's worth a whole lot more than that one. So it's gonna be super cool to have that. Let's do it. I'm gonna open this right now. So it looks like the inside of the old ETB doesn't actually have the pack art, which is super disappointing because I was looking forward to hanging that shiny Pikachu on my wall with my other ETB um, covers. But I mean, it's still cool in the front, very shiny. Um, yeah, Pokemon Center exclusive is pretty, pretty fancy. Uh, we got the set list here, which I actually have not looked at entirely. I tried looking it up. No one's posted it, but you know, today is release day. We finally get to see it. Let's do it. I've noticed that they've been trying to release like the English and the Japanese at the same time, which is kind of annoying because I always like to see what uh, Pokemon were going to be in the set before, which, yeah, we kind of did, but um, I didn't get to see the whole set list. We got Shiny Dondozo right there, and I think the Tassajiri is actually a Shiny too, but we got, I want to get that Espathra, because, or Espathra, Espathra, how do you even say that? All I know is it's an ostrich, but we got some of, you know, the regular stuff. A lot of repeats, like that Raichu I've seen before. I think that's 151 Raichu, no? Uh, I guess so, huh? Yeah, they put, but there is a new Great Tusk EX, and, you know, maybe we could finally get the regular Charizard without paying $20 for it. Um, yeah, oh, here we go, we got all the Shinies. I kind of hated how most of that's, like, repeats and reprints, but this makes up for it entirely, because we got all the Shinies. Oh, Shiny Jumpluff, Shiny Hoppip, look at these guys. Oh, I would definitely want to get some of them. The Oddish as well, the Gloom, super cool. The scythe is pink and green. Love that. Oh, I don't even think I've seen the snowver before. That's so cute. Love the gold pine co. We got some more on this side. I definitely want that relic up top. Uh, we got Charmander. Of course, we have Charmander. This is this is Pokemon 2024. What are you thinking? We got Slowpoke, Slowbro. There's no Slowking though, is there? Well, there might be Psychic. Oh, I really want that Veluza. Yeah, we got we got Finizen and Super Dolphin. Uh, super dope is that what they call them in like french or something i think there's a different language that they really call palpin like super dope or something which is really funny but if i got that name wrong my bad the pikachu is really expensive in japanese i know which is funny that thunderous is an awesome surprise i want to see unless you leave pull that one if you're watching this video i hope you get it probably not though uh the clef was pink and green also really want that one these are terrible why did you put them in here the shinies are god awful Pokemon company what, what were you thinking also the abra is terrible and cadaver i guess cadaver is not that but the, these guys, except for the, uh, they put some bad shinies in here this time, which is stupid, but you know, it is what it is. Really want that spirit too. I'm running out of breath, dude, trying to talk, geez. And then we got also, but Mimikyu got a promo and a shiny in this set, bro. I also want that Rabs because super bad. Uh, it's weird that there's no shiny Fido in this set because it's a promo card, actually. That Mime Dream is pink and green. I would love it. We got the Minecraft salt block right there. With a little salt lamp. I don't know. That, that's what I think of whenever I see that Pokemon. There are so many shinies. I want that Glimmit. Uh, holy smokes. Though. There are just so many shinies. I only got two dragons. Wow. I really want that Scizor as well. And the Reverb Room would be cool. That one's dripping. He's got... He's pink. Wait, why did they make the shiny Pidgeotto, like, green? I thought it was more of, like, a gold color. Oh, no. The Pidgeot is a gold color. My bad. Ditto. Need the Ditto. Snorlax is very cute as well. Um, we got Fortress with the Terra. Look at this. I definitely want that Glomora. And the Mew would be so cool, too. Yeah, these are really neat. I wouldn't mind the Wigglytuff because his eyes are green, which adds a nice accent to the pink. And we got... Oh, dude. I really want... Wait, where is it? This is the card I want the most from this set right here. The Penny. Like... Oh. Uh, and I also really want that Clive, which is really fun. It's like, where's Waldo? And that Mew... They even got, they finally gave Nimona full art, which is new, which is dope. They got some other ones. The Charizard obviously is super cool. It would be cool to get one of these guys. I definitely want the Chiyu the most. Um, but yeah, there's also regular full art for Clive and stuff, and some art rares and stuff of shinies, which is awesome. Then we got some promo cards. I want to try and track down the tin for that, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to. But I'll try for you guys. 
also gonna get all of these boxes for sure because i love the starters in this set but yeah also why did they use shiny tink a ton for the pack card it has a horrible shiny pokemon company stop stop trolling us don't know what that code does but feel free to scan it all right and we have the actual etb looking very shiny oh that lid is nice well it's so textured that is super cool i wish they didn't sell like pokemon center on it or something but like only apparently the only exclusive thing in this box is actually the old promo card so i think it's stuck in there isn't it yeah there it is wow wait did they put them in the same bag if they did i'm gonna have to open it well i might, I might not open it guys i'm gonna be honest <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. I found it. There's one right here. So there, there, there we go. We got we got the Pokemon Center one and the regular one, which is super cool. This card is stunning. Oh my goodness. We got somebody's grandma over there. Thinking the Mimikyu's a grandson. Look at this. <laughs> but yeah, this one specifically. Um, yeah, this one, it only has one card in there. It's, it's just a thick card. But this one's going to go in a card saver. And I'm never going to open it because, like I said, the Pokemon Center ones usually tend to be expensive so yeah if, if i'm gonna pay 60 bucks for an etb i'm gonna buy it off the pokemon center to get this thing you already know this one's the easy work one though because anybody can get this and they'll probably sell it for like five dollars on tcg player later so uh yeah i'm just gonna open it so we can get a better look at the l card here look at that i love like the rainbow with the black and white mimikyu there that is so neat definitely a super good card and i know that the safeguard might be actually kind of playable so maybe this one be, will be a bit more expensive than i thought there's a code as right, so you please share the codes in this video with everybody we got the sleeves these look sick but they're obviously those trash quality ones actually i'll double check real quick pokemon company you sold me these you make these which have a nice clear outside finish but you can't make these worthwhile like what at least, like, I don't know if the sleeves are different in the Pokemon Center ETB. I know the RCS one was, but, I mean, these are cool, but it's... Pokemon Company, please fix your sleeves. I hate this. We got a brick of energies that no one's going to use. We got these deck dividers. Look how cute. Ooh, these are very shiny. I guess it's fitting to make them super shiny for the shiny set. We got the dice. Ooh, I like the sparkly one. That's cool. I always do like looking at the dice and stuff. We got your generic damage counters. And the part you've all been waiting for, worst shiny ever. Why? <laughs> All right, whatever. Same with this guy. These two shinies are horrible. Why do they put them on pack art? It sucks. I'm glad that they finally gave a shiny Pikachu, though. That's very cool. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packs. What? Did, did I miscount? I guess the Pokemon Center ETB gives you more. That's nice. Well, that's super awesome. I'm so glad that they did that. Because, I mean, if you're going to pay 60 bucks for a product, you best be getting lots of packs. Look at that. You guys gotta let me know though, which pack art is your favorite? Like I said, these two suck. I mean, I like Tinkaton. It's just disappointing that they put a bad shiny on a pack. Same with the Cerule Edge. Like the little difference is the eye color. I think that's literally the only difference, which is horrible. But you know, we got Pikachu and Dondozo has a cool shiny. So, I mean, they did that. I'm I'm gonna go with Pikachu. I think, I think that one's the coolest one. Definitely so cute. Look, just look at how cute he is. The Japanese got nothing on our pack arts, at least in that department. Uh, nah, let's be honest. The Japanese got a Charizard and like, every single pokemon on one pack art so yeah we probably didn't win in that department they might even have a pikachu on there anyway oh it's got that same little pattern on there wait we should read this try and break with pokemon from paldea pause that if you want to read it i don't like reading those so way to go read it we're just gonna go straight in i want that mew i want that penny i want that zard uh share the codes like i said please i think it's one from the back yep okay sv why did you do that it's such a it's so dumb okay whatever we got magbar we got Nimona finally getting a trainer card in this set. I think it's a different one, actually. No, they did have one earlier. Charmander, Red Candy. We got Clive with the Josuke haircut. We got Curlia. We got the TM Crisis Punch. Natu. Nimona's backpack. And Azatu. Well, first pack was a dud. That sucks. This one's kind of trippy, though. Look at this. Ooh. It's actually kind of a nice art. I'm not going to lie. I hope we don't get too much hate for saying that our pack art was better than Japan's and then immediately taking it back. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. Um, sometimes you can't beat them. If you can't defeat them, join them. That's what 90% of the collectors said, by the way, because uh, everybody just likes to collect Japanese instead now. So, yeah, hopefully this pack will be better. That person was a stinker. We got Wooper, Tandem Mouse. We got Mankey, Flittle, Atticus finally getting a trade card. That's cool. We got Donfin. I think Atticus is getting a full art in the next set, actually. Next ball, which I did order the Pokemon Center ETB of that one, too. So get excited, right? Toad School. Electric generator. And oh, we got a full art Paldean students. That's pretty cool. It's the Scarlet one. I played Violet, so this is kind of sad, but I mean, that's cool. We got all we got all the students there on one card. That's pretty nice. 
Why does that one kind of look like on for Persona 5? Is it just me? We have the new set that's coming out. We got Pikachu. Let's go. Pikachu! I choose you. Uh we're gonna have the next set come out. Uh or they're gonna have the next set come out, I mean. And it's uh, gonna be the Iron Leaves ETB, which is a Pokemon Six Who's one also. Also, I just messed up my stacks, my bad. I think it's gonna have wait, what's his name? A Temporal Forces, and it's got like some legendary past and future Pokemon, which is gonna be super cool. But we got Dash Bun. Oh, Shiny Tassajir, look how cute! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! We got Kill a and Magmortar. Yeah, this, this is definitely one that I can't turn my nose up to. Look at how cute, he's covered in soy sauce. He's, it literally is a snack. He looks too cute not to be eaten. Also love the texturing on the edges of the card. That is perfect. You guys have outdone yourselves on these shiny cards. I gotta say though, geez, these are so cool. Technically, he's a mascot of one of the on one of the packs, which is really funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we can say we pulled the mascot in the in the title, guys. We can click bait with the thumbnail. Say I pulled the I pulled the 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 big one. You know, in reality, he's the big one. <laughs> it would be cool to get the Dondozo too. Honestly, that would be so fun if I actually pulled the Dondozo. We got Pikachu, Grevard, Chinchow, Woobat. Oh, Woobat! I haven't seen him in a minute. We got Iono, we might sell that later because I don't play. <laughs> so kill a water roll, Magmar. Ooh, Raichu Reverse, that's a cute one. Hey yo, we got the Espeto at EX, let's go. So far, three out of four packs of Dub and Does, that's good. Don't have this one yet. Well, this is a brand new one, so that's super nice. Awesome, dude, let's go. Just please, please don't stop at the hits. I want to get like so many hits. Like, I want to get all the shinies, every shiny. Just every shiny out of 11 packs, which is impossible. <laughs> Just kidding. Like I said, I want to buy those premium collection boxes with the starters. Oops, I needed the code. It stuck to my finger there. Uh, but I want to get those so I can open some more. Ayo, we got the regular form now. Funny that we I pulled the full art before the regular one. What the flip art? Whatever. We got the series. We got Cotton. Oh, it's an adorable art. Look at that. I love that they're bringing the black and white Pokemon back. I don't know if that's anything out of remake, but if they do, I hope that they don't strip the remake. Charmeleon. Ultra Ball. Oh, Lapis as well. Pine Co. and just a Mimikyu Hollow. Hey, this one was in the Halloween set, wasn't it? I'm really hoping that we get some more stuff because that would be kind of sad for 11 packs. But you know, I think I think we could do better. I think we could definitely do better. I think we could definitely do better. I want that Mew SAR or something crazy like that in that department. Scraggy, Gimme Ghoul, Magmar. You got the Mona again, Curlia or no Mona. The Mona full art would be cool. Gengar is as an uncommon in this set? What? Alright, whatever. TM. <gasps> Yo, we got Gardevoir Full Art! Shiny! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we'll set that aside. We're And I thought it was a Full Art again for a second. I freaked out. But look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I hope I hope this one's expensive because, uh, you know, you could just go out and buy something if it's cheap. But look at that. That's a good pull. That's got to be a good pull, no? Okay, five packs left. This is kind of reminding me of Hidden Fates a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm getting kind of good flashbacks. <laughs> if you guys have, haven't seen my Hidden Fates openings, you should totally go watch them. They're, you know, they're older videos. I'm probably a little cringe, but like I had so much fun opening that set and it's definitely my favorite. So this this one might give it a run for its money if, if we keep getting hits like this. We'll have to see. Because those shiny cards are very reminiscent of the Hidden Fates ones. Besides not being a GX, we got Scrafty. Mouse hold! Yo, okay, this is a horrible shiny, but look how cute! Oh, it's a good one as well. And we got Reverse Stadium and a Cerule Edge. That's not a shiny. See what I mean? Look. It's not even a shiny. It's literally the same, except the eyes are different. We're getting all the cute shinies, apparently. We got the mouse hold. Look at how awesome. Haven't pulled any that I, like, really, really want yet. The Tatsujiri is cute. Definitely would want to own one, but mouse hold, meh to me, but it's, it's still cool. Alrighty, I went organized and by rarity. I don't know what's more rare, the shiny or the actual full art, but I just put the uh, shiny with the shinies. But hopefully we can get some more shinies. That would be really great. Uh, yeah, we got how many hits? Five out of 11? Yeah, these last ones are gonna have to have something if we wanna really feel like we broke even. We got Pineco, Dash Bun, Nimona's Backpack again, uh, Primeape, Numo, Tandem Mouse, Tandem Mouse, yeah, and Golango. That's sad. All right, we got three left. Uh, <laughs> starting to feel like I'm a little. I was a little too hopeful, saying this this one might give Hidden Face a run for its money. Honestly, I don't know, man. Probably gonna have to open more to be honest to really find out for sure. 
but I mean, it's it's been going all right so far. I think I definitely deserve more um, in terms of hits, but we'll see what happens. We have three packs of anything can happen. This crazy set. Good Gengar, Swoobat, Oink Oinkle, which looking really weird in that art. I don't know what the heck it is. Moonlit Hill, this would be a crazy full art. What do you guys think? Pikachu! And just a Gardevoir EX, which I don't have because this is a different set. Well, we got our first sort of, sort of meh pull, but you know, two packs left. We're gonna save the Pikachu for last. But yeah, I'm really hoping to some, one more quality hit, even if it's just like a full art, please. Numel, Natu, that's a cute art. I like the uh, cactus and stuff. We got Cottony, we got another stadium card. We got Lantern, Clive, Palian Students Reverse. That's funny, I should take that one over there. Annihilate and oh, that's actually a cool hollow. I haven't seen that one before. I did a funny look. We got all the versions of the same card, which is really hilarious. Last pack magic. If I was lying, I would say I'm satisfied, but I think we need something. One more thing, even if it's just a regular shiny, I think that that would do all that that, that 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 would take my fancy a bit, you know. But honestly, I'd prefer another full art at minimum. So we'll see what happens. We got a fan fee, the Dene. Noibat, how many we at? Six out of six out of eleven. That's not bad. Artisan. Oops, that's the wrong one. Lantern, Moonlit Hill, Charmeleon Reverse. Is that a sign? Oh, Bug Trio Shiny Art Ray. Let's go. And just a Raichu Hollow. That's not bad. I will definitely take that. I will definitely take that. Like I said, full art at least, and then I'll be happy. That's that's a pretty fun one. I do like Bug Trio. It's like a He's a, uh, you know, just straight up coral or I don't know, some, some weird gooby wooby that lives in the ocean, you know? So aside from the old promo cards, we actually got seven out of 11 packs, seven hits out of 11 packs, which is kind of good. Uh, not bad at all. We got a Gardevoir, uh, EX, we got SP3 EX, we got the Spellian Suits Full Art, and then we're going to move on to the Shinies. We got the Mousehold Shiny, which is pretty bad shiny if you ask me, but I think it's cute. Uh, we got Tazajiri, I don't know what that is on there. Uh, we also got the Wug Trio Art Red, which is really cool. And we got the Gardevoir Shiny Full Art, which is probably the best hit. Would have preferred uh, the Mew to this, but hey, if if, if, this, if this is in demand and it's expensive, I will be very happy about this pull. Um, it's kind of early to look stuff up, but I'll look stuff up for fun. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned because this is day one, so usually the prices are ridiculous. But the prices actually seem kind of normal, which is odd. They will... This is $12, but I don't think it's going to hold value. I'm kind of sad about that because, you know, I want to hit that was worthwhile. This is like two bucks. This one's also two bucks. This one surprised me at five bucks. I don't get it. Why? Why? I mean, it's cute, I guess. Like like I say, it's cute, but like it's a terrible shiny, so I don't get it. And then this one's like three bucks or so. But yeah, kind of odd for day one prices. I would have expected this to be higher and then maybe drop down to like 12, like on a, you know, on a good day. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I decided to double check the promos because, you know, I want to see, you know, is the safe card really going to make this expensive? A dollar thirty. So the answer is no, but the answer is yes, because the Pokemon Center exclusive Mimikyu is $38 currently. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say this paid for half the box, but it paid for half the box. But yeah, that was the box. Pretty fun opening. Uh, let me know what shiny yours was. This is definitely mine because it's worth $40. <laughs> I'm also happy that we got, you know, the new tarot card, which is pretty cool. And that's not a bad full art at all. It's pretty cool, actually. If you're considering buying into a Pokemon card set, always buy the Pokemon Center exclusive one. I learned that the hard way. I bought the Iron Valiant that wasn't exclusive. Pulled nothing and lost a bunch of money. But with this, we at least have, we at least surely have a card that will be valuable at least for a little bit right so it's always good to safely buy the pokemon center wood but they do sell that quick so as soon as they get announced go buy it if you want it that bad you know so that's what i did with this one and we're here so we should live yeah i had a good time recording this video if you guys want me to pick up any of the tech sticker collections i will i'm not sure which one i want to get so leave a comment which doggo do you think is the best with the tech stickers? i think there's grevard mastiff and fido i'm kind of leaning towards fido or grevard because i think that those have better shinies but um I'll see, I'll, I'll see what you guys say. I'm also considering buying the starter premium collection boxes. Um, we'll see which ones I end up getting if I get them all. I kind of want to get them all, but we'll see. It's a lot of money, but if it if, if it's for the channel, you already know I'm going to have to do it. I also want that Charizard tin, but I'm going to have to go hunting for that. And going out shopping in public always sucks. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to do it for you guys, though. I'll, I'll go find it. Maybe I should vlog it. If, I want, if you want me to vlog it, leave a comment. 
Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. Be sure to share it with some other friends who haven't seen the set be opened yet. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope you guys had a good time with it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peekabub out.